Abby Dowd. I'm a senior at Moments High School this year and I'm going to uh, college next year. So in a way to get more money, I entered the duct tape uh, scholarship contest. Okay, in a lot of English classes, you know how there's mindless chatter that goes on in between the teacher's lecture and the homework assignments. Well, I was talking with one of my friends and she noticed that I had made my dress. So she told me about the duct tape scholarship contest. So I thought that was really cool. So I went home and told my mom about it, and she said, absolutely not. It's too much work, we don't have time, and a lot of people will enter it, so don't waste your time on it. So then, two months later, she climbs into my bed in the morning, and she says, flamingo. And so this is uh, some of our stuff that we've made. Here are our garment bags to cover the clothes, which we have worked so hard on. This shirt. Is amazing. Uh, this is just regular t-shirt fabric as you can tell but we covered the lapels in an intricate duct tape form and then here is the coat which is still a work in progress. This has taken many hours of cutting and taping and taking off the tape. So and here are his pants. It's actually, they're supposed to be rolled up because it looks like we're standing in water since we are birds. And his cane isn't finished yet, but it will have a hair and head on top. So I can't wait to show you guys that. And here is his bow tie as well. And the ruffles for his shirt. How Lisa created these, I shall never know, but she did. And, oh, the hat. You cannot forget the hat. No prom attire is complete without the hat. So keeping in the bird motif, we added feathers to the top because he is a very flashy male bird as they are in wildlife. Okay, so onto the really important stuff, my dress. Here's Abby's dress. We had to make this four times before we got the line right. Uh, so we took material. It initially started out being about a straight cut off right here. No. So that was the first shot. Second shot was a little bit longer. Yeah, this we drew out uh, our own pattern and then we laid material out, put the duct tape over the top of it and then cut it out. And you cannot sew duct tape on your sewing machine. No, so we found that out the hard way as we well. We had to <laughs> sew this by hand. And then we started with the feathers. There's over 300 feathers in the neck. And this is paper mache. And this is going to go on Abby. Like so. And then this is the next section of the dress, which took a long time to figure out. How many hours of the 530 would you say this took up? Probably 400 hours in the feathers. And this is going to attach to the dress there and then come around in the back. So that way it can be removed so Abby can sit or eat, dance, ride in the vehicle. Yes, the it's duct tape removed. <laughs> Very easily of that. Yeah, but they're independent feathers, like on a real bird. So, in keeping with the bird theme, we went for a seashell, which is tropical. And this is completely made out of duct tape, and it funct is functional as well. The inside is made of duct tape as well. So, we are moving on to the shoes now. It's supposed to look like we're standing in water. So, uh, here's waves on the top of the shoes. And then here is a water lily. I am covering my backpack in duct tape. So when people ask, I can tell them what it's for. My prom is May 3rd. And, which is good because the contest is over in June and then the top 10 competitors are chosen from a special panel of duct tape experts. And then America gets to vote for the best prom wear. Hopefully they will think ours is. You have to make your prom wear completely out of duct tape. You and your date and then you submit photos to the website. And then June 13th through the 29th, go to stuckatprom.com and vote for my prom clothes. The contest is open to any high schoolers in the 50 states who have the guts to wear duct tape to prom.
All right, so there are 20 different colors for duct tape, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten plus yellow and hot pink. I think every year there's about between 150 and 200 competitors. watching VH1's 40 worst outfits and my mom saw the Bjork swan dress so that's where she got the idea to make. Hey, don't say that. What? You can't say the Bjork swan dress. That's not where we got it. Cut so that out. Yeah, that's probably... Well, that's where you got it. It's copywritten or something. We'll edit that out. Okay, but for your information, that's where 